Hey everyone, this is Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. Today we are gonna back up our Pandora Box DX microSD. There's always a chance of corruption on our microSD, leaving us with a brick DX. Having a backup handy will leave us with a safety net. This will work with all known forms of Pandora DX, the CX, and also the King of Air 2. We may need a screwdriver, so keep one handy. Let's get to it. So first we have here is the DX. We need to slice his sticker. And then there are four tabs on the upper half of the case. So we need to push in and then pull out on both sides. So I've done two on this side. And then two more on the opposite. Once we've taken off a cover, you can find the micro SD here. We need to push towards the hinge and then pull out like so. Now we can take out the micro SD. To place it in, 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 in. <laughs> make sure the card's in the groove, flip over the flap, push down and pull away from the hinge. When closing the case, make sure you line up the front panel, otherwise it'll ruin the plastic. Next up is the mini console. Doesn't look like there's any screws, but they're actually hidden underneath these rubber feet. To open this, we could use our nails or use a small screwdriver to pull up the rubber. Underneath each one of these feet, there is a small screw. With all of them out, we can pull the case apart. This circuit board is actually held in by the bottom of the case. So all we need to do is pull it towards us. We can take it out. The micro SD is in the same holder as earlier. Push towards the hinge, can pull open. Take note when you're putting this back together, the switch lines up with a hole at the bottom of the case. Coming around to the jammer boards, that includes the CX, DX, and the King of Air 2, we have four screws on the back. The fourth is hidden by this sticker, so we can either jam a screwdriver in there, or we can peel back the sticker. Your call. Once all the screws are out, we can take this case apart by hand. Micro SD is here. Same holder as before. Once we have our Chan Disk microSD out, we'd need to use some form of microSD reader for our computer to see it. Just going to use this cheapy today. So first, we're going to create a folder on our desktop. This is where we'll keep our backup files. You can name it however you like. If you have different types of Pandora box systems, make sure you keep them separated in their own folder. So the jammer may be not compatible with the family edition. Now the destination is ready. Insert the micro SD. If you see this pop up, you can scan and fix. And then you'll get the contents of the micro SD. Click one, press Control and A to select them all then drag them over to the folder on your desktop. This will copy all of the files from your microSD to our backup folder. This may take 20 to 30 minutes, so you can go make some lunch or a cup of tea. Once this is done, we should have all of the same files from the memory card in this folder. Backup complete. At stock, the microSD cards are usually filled to the brim leaving no space for us to add any more games. If needed, we can actually purchase a larger micro SD or switch out for a more reliable 32 gigabyte card. With the files we have now on the computer, we can copy these to another micro SD. Doing this, we can leave the original micro SD somewhere safe while we tinker with our copy. Today, we'll use a random 32 gigabyte card, then format it to FAT32. XFAT may work, 
but we've had more success with FAT32 for the DX range of systems. So we'll first go to our folder, click one file, push Ctrl and A, which will select all of the files, then click and drag one of the files over. This will copy everything to the microSD. Once the process is completed, we should have the same files on the card as the folder. So now we right click on our drive, eject, and then we can put it in our Pandora box. The card can either be inside the Pandora box or external by using a USB micro SD reader. This option is more accessible, but fills an entire USB port. If you need any more information on adding games to the DX, please check out Zero J's blog in the video comments below. This has been Emi Chicken from Team Pandori. Catch you around.